Welcome back lighting friends, Rob from Pathway Connectivity Solutions here with another demonstration of the Cognito Lighting Control Desk. In a much earlier version we talked about the general interface and the touch screen and how you get around on it and how you use select, control, record and play and when we talked about the attribute control we talked about how the intensity, color, position and shape buttons can quickly get you between select and those control tasks. I'm going to go over a couple different things today that make moving between control and select very quick and very easy uh, and very efficient. And those will be zooming in and out, looking at more or less detail, more or less lights, uh, paging with inside of a view, inside of select, using the airplane view, and showing the number of lights that are captured or the total number of lights that are captured. Um, which is the, uh, the little indicator we have down here below the right arrow button. So let's get in right into it here. Uh, I have a grid here of 10 lights. These are uh, VL2K spots or washes in fact. Um, so when I select a light I see that control becomes active. We've seen this many times before. When we go into control we have intensity, color, position and shape controls. Now if we wanted to select another light we would go back to um, select and then we would select another light and add to it. One of the things I do want to show you about selection which is kind of fun is if you select a light and you go into control and you make any change whatsoever when you go back to select and you select another light it automatically deselects the first light that you worked with. Now I could select a number of lights here go into control make a change and now when I go back and select any other light, it deselects the last ones that had the change made to it. So this means that you don't have to deselect a light after you've positioned it. And this is very handy when you are you know, grabbing one light, moving it down center, grabbing the next light, moving it down center, and so forth. Uh, one of the um, things that make this even quicker is the ability to use the next function. So I'm going to select my first light here, my VL2K wash, and I'm going to go right into position control, and let's use the bullseye here, and I'm going to put this in the uh, top left corner. Now, I can see here on this uh, button down here below the right arrow that number one is selected. And now if I go back to select, I can see number one is selected. Um, let's go into control again now. Now, instead of me going back to select, to select number two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the shift key, which is here on the desk, and you see that the left and right arrow have now been labeled previous and next. So if I just press the shift key and then press the next button, I will see now that number two is selected. Just to check, I'll go see here. Yes, number two is selected. So back in control now I can move that guy say to this corner then I'm going to select the next light which is number three and I'm going to move that down here and then the next light number four and I'll move that down here so now when I go previous holding down the shift key using the left arrow the previous button I can see now number three is selected and it's gone to his position number two is selected and it's in position each position number one so now I can just bump back and forth very quickly between these different guys. And uh, if I go to number five, it hasn't been moved yet. So one of the other shortcuts is uh, now I'm seeing that number five is selected and some of my lights have captured attributes. So uh, if I want to release them to go back to home base, back to their default positions, wherever you want to call that, um, I can hit the release button up here or why not I could just touch the red button here and that will release them. It takes me back to um, select so I can see what I'm releasing and uh, and it still says uh, that there are this guy's in this corner, that guy's in that corner, that guy's down here and this guy's down here. If I release again they will go back to their default positions. So um, one of the things that we did there is we went from one to two to three to four. If I start in the select task and I select, in this case, I'm going to select one, three, five, six, eight, and ten. 
Then I'm going to go to control and I'm going to, I see in this uh, box right here that there are six lights in total selected. It's not number six. There are six in total selected. Here, we'll count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So when I use the next button now, it will take the first of the ones I have selected, which is number one in this case. Then I could do something with it. Then I go to the next guy and it doesn't go to number two. It goes to number three because that was the next guy in my selection set. Then number five, which is that guy, fooled me. That is the one I wanted. Uh, number five, and then I'll go number six, then I'll go number eight, then I'll go number 10 and watch this. I do it again and it goes to one, bang, three, five, six, eight, and 10. Um, and I can go backwards or forwards through that list. So when you have a bunch of lights that you want to position on the piano, it's very nice just to be able to stay inside the control task, um, work with one light, then the next, then the next, we'll put it here, the next, we'll put it here, uh, the next, put it there, the next, put it there, and then now we can pop through all those guys seeing what they're all doing. So, and again, remember hitting the red indicator here will release those lights out. So this is looking at a grid of 10 lights. If I zoom out using the minus magnifying glass, I will see 20. And again, I can go out to see 40 and 60 and 100, which is the number total number of lights I have in my system right now. Um, if you go into any air, any any zoom level here, as in 40, and I hit this button without pressing shift, it will go 41 through 80. And then the next page will be 81 through 100. So uh, if I zoom in a bit further and I go 1 through 20 and I page, now I go 21 through 40. And I can actually have things selected on the first page here. See, I have three lights selected. And then I go to this page and it doesn't look like anything selected. But this little guy here is reminding me that three lights are in fact selected and I can release those out. Um, and at any zoom level, let's zoom right in here. You can also hit the airplane button, which will take you out to a wide view. So if I want to jump right into the 60s here, because they're in 10s, 10, uh, 2 of 10, 3 of 10. So if I go to six, page 6 of 10, I will see um, 51 through 60 because the first one is one through 10. Um, so if I want to see the 60s, I go to the seven page. There we go, like that. So that is a little bit about how to get around very quickly uh, in uh, Cognito select and control modes. Uh, next time we're gonna talk about recording memories and uh, that's the first time that we're actually gonna be taking all of this work of selecting and controlling and sticking it somewhere. So I hope you join me. Thanks very much.